Scorpio. What's up, water babies? What's poppin'? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, also look out. <laughs> I cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, you know, you may want to go find someone else's channel who resonates with you more. Uh, there's a lot of beautiful readers on YouTube, but y'all, I'm a cuss, all right? My higher self cuss, my authentic self cuss. I cuss, all right? So if it don't work, still love you long time, no love lost. Uh, namaste, much love. So family, what's up, baby? Thank you, uh, everybody, to, for all the new subscribers, current subscribers, all the likes, all the shares, all the comments. Y'all, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to share my life with y'all. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. This will be for my sun, moon, rising Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sun. Scorpio, baby, between December the 1st and the 15th. This is not a personal, it's a general. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. I currently have a special going on. I will be getting a video up in time for you to get in on the last bit of that, but it was a separate video, okay? So you want to go check that out. You guys... You guys, retrograde shifts. It was in y'all. And y'all was on my ass. Yes, you were. This is a very transformative time for Scorpio. Y'all are kind of being backed into a wow to change. See things from a different perspective. Truths. I literally heard while I was actually shuffling the cards and getting your energy and kind of digging in, I heard uh, I heard a little bit of revelation. It's a re very revelation-like time. A lot of you all, your dreams is going to be very interesting. Light is going to be shed on situations that you hold very heavy to your heart. Situations where you felt like you were being unappreciated and mistreated. Now you begin beginning to be reflective to see why it was that those situations and those circumstances occurred in the first place. They were revelation like time. Can I get an amen? Can the people say? Can the people say? <laughs> y'all. <laughs> My new subscribers, y'all, welcome to the family. We're really dysfunctional. You know, we, we love up in here. Positive vibes only. We don't fight, we don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? But we do love. We share, we grow, we evolve, we enlighten. It's about positive shit only. We family. Everybody goes through the same. We all go through shit. Don't get it twisted. Hell, mocha mocha. I go through shit. Make it look good, but I go through it. All right? So, that said, it's okay to recognize your progress perfection is a quality that we all aim for but we'll never achieve because if we had it what the hell would we need a damn journey for what would we need to learn if we knew every damn thing why would we need a damn journey i mean every day you can learn from children it's just your perspective how you choose to look at things you know and during this time for oh my water baby you guys is shit Fixed energies don't want to change. You, y'all, Scorpios, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, you did the damn signs. The compromise is because don't nobody want to damn change. So, you know, get it together. That don't mean it ain't love there. It just means somebody's stubborn and somebody needs to be reflective and see why situations that you attract is in your life in the first place. All right? So, let's ride. Between the 1st and 15th of December, Spirit, please show me what it is that you're needing my Scorpios to know. Learning, working on your damn self. For some of you all, I feel like you're going to be working on, some of y'all going to be getting information like, some of y'all could be learning about love spells and things of that nature. Some of you all could also be researching your family lineage and I'm, I'm hearing hereditary or like some type of um, history hereditary or maybe some type of like spiritual gift that you actually inherited from your ancestry. Some of you all, things are actually going to be aligning for you during this time. You just got to trust the process. There's a need to really, really, really work on that root chakra for some of you all. For some of you all, it's really jumping out of me with the uh, with the throat chakra. There's a need to speak what it is that you feel because I feel that you have this sense of all knowing during this time. Y'all crown chakra going to be on fire. For some of you all, you're experiencing an expanding in your third eye, so there may be a lot of pressure. Okay, it's it's hard for me. I'm just gonna say pineal gland because I hate to say third eye because I think personally it's the damn first eye, but that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> we all obligated now. <laughs> for some of you all, things are aligning perfectly. For some of you all, we have to walk away from certain situations, certain things, and circumstances that no longer served you. I feel that it helped. You have to accept that there was part of your transformation during this time. Okay, for some of you all. 
Spirit is setting up, setting up the foundations for a soulmate relationship. Y'all ready to love? Are you ready to love? Oh, thank you, Spirit. Spirit say you don't trust. Some of you all are really just putting the focus on learning more about yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Some of you all, there's this need to truly, truly, truly be at one with yourself, falling in love with yourself, seeing the beauty with yourself, and actually giving yourself a lot of more recognition than what you do during this time. Some of you all, you're really going over your situation, like maybe past relationships, even the way that you love, and really bringing out wisdom to it. A lot of you all are going to be shedding the light on situations in love, okay? In order for you all to make that change. Look at y'all. Some of y'all gonna some of y'all is gonna be doing what it do do. Some of you all, you're really needing to um a lot of y'all gonna be getting wisdom on a particular situation. It could have been a situation that actually could have hurt or maybe you could have some of y'all gonna be receiving some type of spiritual clarity for some of you all to come in the form of a dream. But it's going to give you what you need, the information that the information and the tools that you need in order for you to move forward and make something come to the come to fruition in the material baby. I do see for some of you all, it's really about embracing what it is that makes Scorpio happy, what it is that Scorpio wants, but how is it that Scorpio can add that duality, okay, as well as compromise, especially when it comes to communications and really speaking about how it is that you want things to go and how the hell you want how you want it to go. How you want it to start, how you want it to end. It's speaking about it, but not in an aggressive way or in a defensive way for what someone feels like you have some type of intention. Because for some of you all, you're really shifting the way that you communicate during this time. And I feel like a lot of you all, maybe in the past, you kind of, kind of, you know, really reflecting during this time and just really thinking like, damn, is this what that person thought? Is this why this, this? I mean, it's, and it's not for you to be remorseful. It's not for you to be in this place of regret but in this more so in a place of reflection reflection and acceptance you know and really 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 letting those things go some y'all don't trust some y'all have been hurt in the past and some of you all there's a need to take what you like i just, I just literally told cancer that some y'all could actually be dealing with a cancer as well or some water sign but i feel like for some of you all or air but some of you all is you're not able to move forward and actually grow in your current relationship i'm feeling especially if you're dealing with an air sign because it's like you're, you're only holding on to the hurt from the past but you're not really gaining the lesson from it in order for you to truly 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 show the gratitude for the blessing that came out of it and that's the restoration of this wisdom that is this wisdom. It's how you see and what you actually see as a blessing. Some of y'all, there's a need to be grateful. Forgiveness, gratefulness, vulnerability, trust, and truth. This is what we're touching on. And this is what spirit is trying to really, really, really bring Scorpio into an understanding of during this time. For some of you all. You have this inner knowing. Some of y'all may be finding feathers during this time. For some of you all, you may be attracting cats. They're your spiritual protectors, okay? They're going to let you know if anything or energy upon people that's coming within your aura is not right. For some of you all, um, some of y'all, you really need to get out in nature more. You're going to learn how to hone your spiritual abilities during this time in nature. I know it's getting colder in the northern hemisphere, but there's this need to really, really, really some of y'all are dream interpretators, like like dream interpreters. And I feel like you're not really understanding what it is that you're seeing. I feel like there's some, some, some type of synchronicity that spirit is going to be bringing you guys in nature. And some of you all, as above, so below. Some of you all are holding on to divine information. And I feel that it's your life purpose to get it out. For some of you all, you're really learning that you can do this. <laughs> and that's what's causing you guys to go over your ancestry. Okay? So let's see what's going on with you guys in love. Spirit, show me what can my Scorpios expect in love between the 1st and the 15th in December. Yeah. Some of you all, you feel as if some of y'all actually may leave somebody out in the cold. It has to do with the level, a level of like equal give and take. And I feel like the situation is, had become to a point where it had became toxic. And I feel like someone had got comfortable in overgiving 
and not really giving that same damn energy to themselves. And it could involve a family situation. Okay, I feel that for some of you all, you really want to nurture your family. You really want to, yeah, some of y'all really want to fix a person who don't want to be fixed. Some of y'all are dealing with an air sign that you could be in a family uh, dynamic with, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or some of y'all are dealing with possibly an earth sign, okay, that it's just a third party ass type person, okay? I feel, I know y'all don't hit Mark, but really a third party ass, yes, I said it. A third party ass type person. But some of you all, I feel that some of y'all feel stuck to a situation because you have a family. Some of y'all could be given to two situations, or you could have an earth sign that you're dealing with that's given to two situations. But some of you all, you feeling like neglected. I feel like some of y'all could be feeling neglected by a Capricorn. You want to nurture the situation. Some of you all have a family with a Sagittarius person who possibly put you in third party situations or you this person. Some of you all is with a Pisces. Some of y'all is Cancer. Some of you all are going to be moving towards a Sagittarius during this time. Or you have a Sagittarius trying to move towards you. I feel that you've been waiting for this person. Like, even though you know that this person comes in and they come the hell out, you've been waiting for this person. Yes, for some of you all, if you have a family with this person, I feel that some of y'all manifested this to, for this person to come back. But for some of y'all, I'm going to tell you straight up, they come in with this damn in and out energy, inconsistency. I feel that. You overgive to the situation with this person because you really wanted to make it work with this person. For some of you all, you could really be holding on to traditional ties to the way that you deal with things in relationships based on the way that you were taught during this time. It's really that realization of that. For some of you all, you have this fear of being by yourself, so you put up with people's shit and spirit is saying that you deserve more. Some of you all are holding on. Or you have an earth sign holding on to you, okay? <laughs> Some of y'all are really wanting to hold on to uh, somebody in your energy that's trying to hold on to you for their own financial gain. Or maybe Scorpio, you, you this person. Some of y'all, if, you if, you, if you're have, if you um kind of in your head intuitively about an earth sign hiding money from you, kept going towards Virgo. Some of y'all, this person don't get mad. Maybe you're being defensive towards this person. Some of y'all... In the midst of somebody being drunk, they're going to tell you about your damn self and say, yeah, that's why I was already ready to leave your ass because, you know, I've been put this much up and I'm about ready to fucking go anyway. And you just going to be like, oh. <laughs> but some of y'all was a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Well, you could be doing this to them, but you're going to be like, oh. <laughs> so that's how you feel. Mm -hmm. Well, shit, you don't got to wait. Get your shit and get up out of here, homegirl. Oh, boy. Yeah, some of y'all are going to, some y'all going to cut off uh, a Gemini, a Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? I feel that you have, have some type of, you could have some type of family dynamic with this person, but this person could have a decision to make, or you could have a decision to make between um, a fire sign. Every seal Sagittarius, for some of y'all, is Earth, Capricorn towards Virgo, or Air. I do see Aquarius here. I see Capricorn here. I see Cancer here. I see Sag and Pisces here. Libra. For some of you all, you just really want to be happy. And for some of you all, it's literally by any means necessary. If I got to leave every damn body behind, shit, I'll leave a dog. I'm tired. I'm ready to go. During this time, you're not holding on to any damn thing that don't make you happy. And I don't blame you because y'all put up with a lot of shit. But some of you all, yeah. Some of y'all are going to release yourself from a marriage during this time. It's toxic. It's time to go. Your ass controlling. You don't want to change. You want to stay stuck in your ways. I'm fine. And I'm, I'm fine. I'm able. I'm healthy. I'm wealthy. I'm joy. I'm light. And I'm ready. You understand? Some of y'all could be focused. You could be worried about if you move forward from possibly a marriage. But some of you all, you could be also leaving a damn tourist behind. Or, and this could be someone who you have a have children with, but I feel like it's constantly third party situations and deceit and deception and sneaky ass inner energy. Some it's trust issues, you know, abandonment issues, you know, kind of that acceptance issue that I feel, you know, people just really have this fear. You can no longer live in that fear. You're not welcome no more. Okay. Fear say you're no longer welcome because if you take that leap of faith and just transform your life, some of you you're just really thinking about starting over. You have every damn thing you need to start over and be successful in doing so. You know how to get the coin. You know how to chase your passions. You know how to love. You know how to communicate. And for some of you, you have to take the lesson in the fact that it can't, all of them blessings and all that beautiful energy came from somebody being fucked up. 
you first had to learn how to love in turmoil for you to appreciate how to love how to, how to love in harmony. Because can you be grateful for it? The lesson of gratitude and the self. Some of you all have a brand new business endeavor. For those of you who've been uh, working on something new as far as creations or starting a new job, I do see it being successful. You guys will be hearing some good news regarding your finances during this time. And it all had to do because, and it's all coming, baby, because you chose to trust the process and take that leap of faith, okay? So I'm so proud of y'all, Scorpio. Some of y'all are really making that change, but some of y'all going to have to let some shit go, okay? Why is this magician card here, Spirit? Yeah, some of y'all got a slick ass Virgo in your energy, and some of y'all gonna really have to find. Some of y'all gonna have to come to peace at the fact that you're whatever. Some of y'all are cre like I feel that when you get in relationships, you expect for a relationship to have the foundations of stability and that already before you even move forward to it. So yes, I'm willing to put that work in, but God damn, like can you meet me halfway? And for some of y'all, y'all don't attract that. They attract that because you have the vibration. You're walking in the vibration of overgiving, so you are what you attract. So some of y'all are going to find the beauty in solitude during this time and to really, really, really pull back from situations and places and people, you know, that really don't serve your energy. Some of you all are very indecisive when it comes to a marriage or an engagement during this time. Some of y'all have a Taurus that you really want the life with. Capricorn too, Sagittarius, Cancer. But I feel like either you or this person is very indecisive on which way to go. I feel that it more has to do with the financial decision as well for some of you who are not dealing with third parties. Because I don't think everybody damn cheating, okay? And why is this ace? Yeah. Some of you all, an ace of pentacles here as well. Some of you all, to clarify the ace of pentacles, I received the ace of pentacles. <laughs> For those of you who are afraid to make that move, baby, the tower has to happen in order to unask that Ace of Pentacles, okay? As well as allow spirit to bestow onto you and be receptive to a soulmate, possibly a Gemini. But it's going to be after releasing something, someone, some situation that's toxic. It could even be a thought pattern, y'all. You got to move forward during this time. Some of y'all dealing with Earth sign you drink too damn much. And you love this person, but you really having to choose... What's healthy for your children? Because I'm hearing children is involved with that. There's a devil card here. Yeah. Family situation. Some of you guys, you really want to get possibly a family situation off the ground with a water sign or a Capricorn. But I feel like with this, yeah, could be a, a Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of y'all, some of y'all feel left out in the cold possibly from an earth sign. Due to this person possibly having like some type of, or uh, this person could have, could have, or could be receiving some type of financial gain, and they just really kind of want to control how much you get if they give. It, it's like, you know, it's like loving with conditions. For some of you all, yeah, some of you all, you could have someone that you possibly have children with. Possibly being defensive towards you during this time if this person is a fire sign. Or some of y'all could be being defensive towards a fire sign uh, due to the fact that they're not equally given to the family like they should be. Possibly due to work. Some of y'all are damn third party. Some of you all really want to put in the work with the earth sign. Some of you all could also be, uh, for those of you who are in between jobs, I'm also seeing a new job opportunity come. But it's going to be after you release, you know, oh, well, I, well at the last job, at, it's time to move forward. Let that damn last job, stay. let the last job come or go, okay? You ain't there no more. Those of, <laughs> some of y'all are going to be, you better be very careful if you're dealing with a Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Virgo. Aries, some of y'all, some of y'all who've been manifesting them, <laughs> them babies, you're going to get it. You better be careful. If you're not trying to be pregnant, y'all may want them to take the proper precautions. Some of y'all, some of y'all are walking away from the third party situation. I'm over it. I'm done. That was the damn straw that broke the camel's back during this time. Yeah, some of you all are wanting to reconcile with a Sagittarius. You want this person to move forward towards you. You want this person to move. You want to move forward with this person. I feel that you and this person could have had some type of conflict or possibly move forward from some type of toxicity. You want to move from some move away from some form of toxicity, okay? 
with this Sagittarius, but I feel like with this person, they just have third party in and out inconsistent energy, y'all. If you could have a child with this person, you could actually have a family dynamic with this person. But I feel like with this person, they don't have the staying power. And that's for some for some people. Some of you all are really wanting to move forward and make an offer to an Aquarius. I feel like for those of you who are wanting to do that, I don't rush that. Because whomever this is, this person has an issue with, like, they could have actually moved away from someone in the past that was very controlling. So they have an issue with that where you may be saying, you know, well, it's something simple. Like, you know, well, let me help you with a bill. Let me help you. With, I don't need you. I'm independent. Do I look like I need some damn body? This, this. Well, all right. Start with a cup of coffee. Everybody loves coffee. Well, not everybody loves coffee. But everybody loves chocolate. <laughs> Start with some chocolate, okay? For some of you all, you're being defensive towards a Leo during this time who is wanting to reconcile because maybe in the past you or this person could have been very indecisive. Some of y'all, they go their damn Sagittarius again, okay? Some of y'all have been patiently waiting for a fire sign for this damn Saggy to make up their damn mind, okay? And they could have to choose between you as well as the Aries person. For some of y'all, it could be between the Sagittarius and the Aries person. This could be you. Ch chopping somebody off, okay, and finally making a decision during this time on who it is and what it is that you want. For some of you all, yeah, you're going to choose to leave somebody out in the cold. Or for some of you all, yeah, for some of y'all it's an earth sign. For some of y'all it's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all it's fire. Yeah, some of you all, you want to hold on to possibly the mother of, or father of your child. Some of you all are wanting to hold, some of y'all, some of y'all got a Virgo, especially if you have a child with a Virgo. Some of you all, be careful with having children. If you feel that somebody is intentionally trying to get pregnant, and I got to say this because it's here, especially if it's involving a third party, somebody, whoever is in this third party with this damn uh earth sign or this damn Pisces or Libra or Sagittarius, somebody is intentionally trying to get somebody pregnant out of control and toxicity to be tied to this person. And I feel like if you had the feeling to be defensive toward that person because they was moving too damn fast before, <laughs> Annie up. <laughs> you better. <clears throat> I don't want it. Tell them I don't want it. Shit. Yeah, some of y'all are being defensive towards the fire sign because this person don't got the damn stand power, okay? But I feel like during this time, Scorpio, take that leap of faith. Some of y'all are going to be moving away from fire signs, just moving forward. And you in your head about it, this could also involve air as well. Or for some of you all, it's water. Everybody's at the damn party. Point is, some of you guys are moving away from circumstances and you're really having to trust yourself. And I feel like with a lot of y'all, you really don't give yourself enough credit, as you should. But some of you all, you really want to make that offer. But I feel like every time you move forward to making that offer, it's this feeling of, you know, resistance. Some of y'all have been trying to manifest a damn Aries, Leo, Sagittarius to come forward or trying to, either, some of y'all could be trying to, like, do love skills during this time and be learning love skills to manifest somebody back. Okay, but some of you all, it's also a cancer, but I feel like you want to move forward and express your love and passion to someone maybe who you weren't vulnerable with in the past, or maybe you, and some of y'all are afraid of being rejected, you know, due to the fact that maybe financially you're not ready or the other person is not ready, but you really need to trust yourself more than what you do, because some of y'all know right from damn wrong, you know damn well this person with this third party state, they always come back and reconcile. For some of you, you got a fire sign in your energy. Either you or this person, you always go back and reconcile, but you go back and reconcile with this damn energy. So what ends up coming to happening is this damn energy in and out. The sex is good, but it, it, I feel like be real with your damn self. If this person don't fulfill you, and you have this wish to be single and, and, and really bank up on this damn ace of pentacles and stack your coin and actually become stable and secure within yourself before you make that damn offer to this, this solid offer to this fire sign. Say it. Don't just sweep the sweep the issue under the rug because fear can no longer live in your world anymore, Scorpio. Surprise, surprise. So this is what I have for you guys between December the 1st and the 15th. If you need that personal reading, it's in the description. Hit me up. Bye, booze. Much love, much light. Many blessings. Much abundance. Namaste. Bye, y'all.